are you focused on the right person? So you can be focused on self or you can be focused on serving others. So self, fear, doubt, shame, guilt, also joy. I mean, but joy is also contagious. Apathy, but these are all emotions and states where the focus is on you for the most part. Like, I'm not good enough. I don't know if I should do this. This is like, I'm, I'm not sure if I can handle this, blah, 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 blah. Focused on serving others, it takes the attention off of you and focuses on to something bigger. So this is where you can really place your power in service to serving others. And so if we look at these, these are all the big fears that I, I see every day in coaching clients. So judgment, rejection, death, ruin, failing, imposter syndrome, outshining those you care about, being fundamentally flawed, abandonment, disloyalty, bigger success, bigger burden, not deserving, not worthy, not enough. Like, who are these all about? That's right. Just curious. Like, who are these, where, if you were to direct an arrow, like, wh who are these all about when you're thinking these things? They're about you. And so here's a question that, not all my clients love me asking, but they love me after. They don't love me so much in the moment for asking. But I asked them, I said, why are you being so selfish? Like I said, none of my clients like that question. But when I ask them that, it really changes the game. Um, because the results that come out of that, of shifting the selfish look at yourself of, I'm so scared of being rejected. I'm so scared of you know, get, being abandoned is preventing you from actually serving others. And I like to give the example of like, what if you had the cure for cancer, but you were scared of getting rejected? Like, you're like, oh, no, no, no. But, the, you know, pharmaceutical companies won't accept it. Like, I'm scared that I'm going to get rejected. I'm scared that, you know, the population won't get it. Like, won't, won't, will reject me or they'll laugh at me or maybe like, because I cure cancer, then my brother won't like, I'll outshine my brother or something like that. So I'm not saying that necessarily you have the cure for cancer, but I am saying that you do have in some way with your products, your services, with the career that you have, you are providing a service that is necessary, that is helping someone move from a space of pain into a space of pleasure. And so playing small is just simply very selfish.